How much is your watch? Uh, ten pound. Those, well, they're all twelve, and I would take ten on each one. Okay. They're all quartz ones. These ones are wind up ones. Is it on there somewhere? Yeah. What are they asking there? Well, I'm not seeing any sold, but someone's asking ninety for it. Yeah. I think the ten is a fair price here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, welcome back to Cooking Hayden's. I'm Car Boot Chris. I'm a full-time reseller. And today I am at Chirk Car Boot Sale for the first time ever. I believe it's a big one. It looks big, even though I can't see very much because it's pitch black. It's half past five in the morning. And I had to get up at four to come here today, which is why I've not been here yet because it's really put me off um because it's an hour's drive for me anyway we're gonna get out in the field it's gonna be a nightmare for about an hour because i don't have a torch so i'm gonna have to use my phone anyway let's see what we can find here today and see if it's as good as what people say it is how much is that one please 20 quid for that brand 20. new What about your fleeces? That, what is it? I've got to ask 20 quid for that. Okay. That's brand new. It's got yeah. a tag, it's got a on, tag it. on it, I can yeah, feel it. Yeah, How much is that one, please? 15 for that one. 15. <laughs> The Marvel ones, the DC ones. Okay, um, yeah, the DC ones, so those are 50p each. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Minecraft ones, uh, they're one pound fifty each. We'll, we'll do the set for a fiver. Groot and Baymax. Uh, Groot pound. I'll it's, take. No, Baymax, sorry, Baymax for the pound. Oh, I'll take a few off you. Yeah. Yeah, cool. uh, that one. Can I get you three? Uh, what's that there? That one there? Huh? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, got oh. Take that one off. I'll take the two at the back there. Are you adding this up? Slowly. Can you add up pounds? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Sonic. What are we on there? Six quid. Six quid, okay. Uh, How much is it? 50 quid. Did you take two pound on your cup? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Cool, thank you. Yep, I have a deal on that. <coughs> but I've got about, you know the coloured ones? One there, right? the mm -hmm. glass, you know the glass coloured ones? They're making about, in Wingates and Rex, they're yeah. making about 20 quid somewhere. I've paid 60 quid for them. Yeah. How much is it? Drop them. Isn't it? The bugger, the making a living now. Okay, it's fine. Looking good, right. Yeah. Thank you very much. He doesn't look into it. There good. could I be a top for that. Really oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of them. Looks too good. Yeah. Yeah. So you can okay, then. Yeah, that's Thank it. you very much. No problem. Seriously, the guy's asking me. Yeah, you want to know how much that one is? I just told him. Five, isn't it? See what else you got. Well, the more you get, the more it's going to seem like a better deal, isn't it? No, it won't. 
Because that's the wider. The next one might be a better deal. That's what I'm trying to say. The more you get, the more you might see better. <laughs> I'll just take this one, please, mate. No, no, you won't. Thank you. Good, mate. Cheers. Thank you, man. Yeah. It's changing all the time. It was half ten, now it's twelve ish. Oh, right. Oh, we might be our own by then. Yeah, that's what I mean. So I wouldn't have it stop here. Big. How much are the big one? Very fine. How much are your pops, please? Pops are eight pounds. Eight pounds. Uh, Disney Princess Arrays is four pounds. Front cover strategy game is ten. Okay. Kangaroos. Who's? Yeah, I've seen them before. Ten pounds. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. They're about fifty quid. Yeah, it's different, that, isn't it? I'll put your hanger in the back here. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll just take that one, cheers. Would you be interested in a deal if I took them all? Depends how much. How many are there? It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. You can do them all for 50. Mm. Take a tenner off. Uh, loot yeah, I can see you've got a few bits of loot crate and yeah. that. I used to get it all the time. <laughs> was there okay before it turned to, uh, well, the quality wasn't very good? Yeah, the, the was quality it? was lost on it, wasn't it? I used to get the XL one and it was some really good figures in that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can quite do it, but thanks anyway. 45? Uh, I didn't realise how popular they'd be. I could probably do 40 and then that's fine. Can't go any lower okay. than All right. sorry. That's fine. Alright, thank you anyway. There might be some yeah. There. yeah, thank you. Cheers. Okay. I'll get your t-shirt. Thank you, darling. A loot crate. Yeah. How much do you want for it? Three. Yeah, I do that. What's for the buff blood? Pound. How much is your toy, please? Looking for three quid for that, mate. That was like, I think it was like 15, 18 quid from Harry Potter World. I'll take it. Yeah. You can change the tenor, bud. Yeah, press, okay. press here.
Thank you. Uh, 50p each apart from the uh, Johnny Donaldson David Williams. How much is that one, please? Um, I was doing, that was a five. I was doing them both for six quid. They're both Jurassic World and they're both the scam ones as well. Mm, so we they're both Jurassic World. How much are your wrestlers? Uh, two pound a piece. The static stuff is a pound each at the back. Okay, thank you. That's um, the box for you, Steve. You want the box? Yeah, the Jurassic World, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll do them both for fiver. Do them for a fiver, yeah, I'll take them. Oh. Oh, down to 20, is he? Hang on, I might have to change. Even better, we've got to change mm. Somebody came with a 20 pound note. Oh, I've got, got loads here. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, five P's, four, five there. Five. Thank you, yeah, mate. Right, thank you. Do a better price on it. What for more? How many? Mm. I mean, I've got about three, six, ten, count that, 15, 20, 26 there would be 52. I'd do them for like 40 for the lot, mm. like 12 quid off. Any cheaper than they don't need any suits. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I'd probably be in it at like a quid each, you know, yeah, to take them all, I, I but do them at that. no, that's fair enough. Towel. <laughs> I, oh, think okay. with, I think that goes with it. It looks right, doesn't it? It looks right. It's only one of their seconds. Oh. It's got the other one there. But oh, yeah. yeah. How much are the wrestlers? They're two pounds each. Thank you. Two quarters or less. Um, they're, they're He's got one like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, two pounds. 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 Little thing there, two for, two for a pound. Here you go, that's yep. six, sir. Uh. How much is your Furby, please? Seven. Do his pattern on. Is he fluffing her off? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, oh yeah, she'll be so she's so she's 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 Yeah, go on then. Are you Carbute Crew? Yes, I am, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. How much is that one? Six quid, bud. Six quid. Yeah, I, I thought I'd try this place for... Never been before, so... You can have two, two for the turner. Okay, how many you got, weird fish? One, two, three, four. How much three, Jack? The jack is 25 quid. How many is this? One, two, four, five. Eight. I've got this one, one here. Five, yeah. How much for the five? 30. 25 for the five. Yeah, go on, I'll do it, mate. Yeah, I'll just take the hangers off here. Should we do one second with you? <laughs> <laughs> that loads. 
Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate the deal. Oh. Nice jerseys, Harry. Yeah, yeah. Just so many of them. If in doubt, take them all. Yeah, I know, that's lucky. <laughs> All uh, right, oh, you're 25 quid down. All right, uh, 20. Don't give me your 30 pound no. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. What have you got on those? Um, you can have that one for three. Yeah. And that one will be a fiver. Okay. Eight quid. Eight quid on those two. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much indeed. Day. Nice one. Yeah. Cheers. Eight quid. Let's see if there's any others. He's taking all the best ones, hasn't he? Eight. That one? Two on that. Ten. First ten. That one? Three. Thirteen. I'll go and get my thing from here, Peter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thirteen. Why for the hoodies? Eighteen. Cleared these, aren't you? Yeah. Mold rubber. Take them with them. Mold. Yeah. That'll be a turner that filled up for you. Yeah. I'll leave that one. Uh, whatever. Want somebody from Mold. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. You need a special yeah, yeah. person for that. Cardiff Blue. Oh. Right, I'm on 18 here, aren't I? I yeah. think. We yeah. can check it if you like. I think I'll just have those. So that was five. 18 quid. 18, wasn't it? I'll just, I'll leave the hangers on. I can't be bothered taking them off. Good man. <laughs> there you go, you've done all right there, haven't you? <laughs> well, if it's good for everyone, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, right. I just want rid of them. 18. Two quid. Lovely, thank you very much. <laughs> can I have a look at the other one? Is that all right? You can, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, you have been warm. Yeah, no, it's yeah. fine. I mean, they're still in good condition, aren't they? So. Yeah, I'd say I've worn about, what, five, six times, that's it. I'm just getting a bit of I paid just under two for them. Yeah, I've just had a look then to see what the kind of value they were. Go on, I'll take them. You got them, yeah? yeah. Do you want a bag, my mate? I'm good, thank you very much. Thank you very much. There you go. Please, Appreciate it, thank you. Paid a lot for them. Yeah. They've got an inner sole in them as well. I put that in because we thought just to lift it so that. Yeah, I out. see what you mean, yeah. You got any movement on it? You got any movement? Uh, I'm not here five or often. Three pound look. Like I say, I paid over 200 for them, mate. Yeah. Would you be interested at 40? No, I can't, mate. Yeah. I'd rather keep them if you know what I mean. I know, yeah, yeah. Go and ask, can't you? Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, you want 45? Any boxer out for him? Well, just a bag. London, uh, yeah. 1800 and that. Right, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got real quality yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's the brand of the ER. Yeah, well. Yeah. Oh, what's clean in it? Yeah, exactly. All wants clean in it. Yeah, exactly. How much is your jacket, please? Split the difference. 15. That's the best. 15. Yeah. I'm not so sure about that. Twelve. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. yeah. Right, come on then. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. I always meant to know. Which is your pume? Five. Five.
I'm good, thank you. How much is Star Trek, mate? Yeah, it's just gonna get a cup of tea back in the chef. Oh, okay. Oh, is it the um, there's none on that one. Okay, don't worry, I'll, I'll yeah. hang about. How much are those, please? Uh, six each or ten for them both. Oh, cool yeah, I've got a, a chucky version of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Batman's uh, being a gold one, it's actually a special edition. Oh, okay. How much is your watch? Uh, £10, pound, those. But, uh, they're all 12 and I'll take 10 on each one. Okay. They're all quartz ones, these ones are wind up ones. any sold but someone's asking 90 for it. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a 10 is a fair price here. <laughs> yeah. It's whether any have sold that's the thing. Yeah. I've never seen another one. Well say. that's why I picked it up. Yeah because I've never seen one. I like Jurassic Park. I'll give you a tenner for it. Yeah. Even if I end up just keeping that one myself. Well, good. You know, I've kept it for a while, but I just yeah, liked it. That's but it. I mean, yeah. if you are selling I've got it, so good I've got so much you. Jurassic Park stuff. I just yeah, I love collecting it. They're all manual. And they're all working. That's that's woman one, but I don't know the other one. Just, that might be a young person one, but, but no, they're all they all got men's size strap on them. Oh, thanks for that. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. How much is your hat, please? It's a tall hat, so it's 15. So 15. you can't buy it in shops, basically. Okay. Yeah, it's like a competition. How much is your Adidas top there? Uh, five quid each day, all right. Can I have a look at the yeah. white one, yeah? Thanks, mate. I'll take this one, please, yeah. mate. Cheers, man. Thank you. Hey, welcome back. I'm sorry I forgot to wrap up in the car after the boot sale. Um, I was pretty tired, so I just wanted to get back and I, I forgot as well. Anyway, listen, um, everything that I picked up is here. I didn't do too bad at all, to be honest, but it was a real slow burner. I got there, it was pitch black. Um, 
everyone with torches out and stuff so I actually didn't didn't pick anything up at all during the period of darkness which lasted about 45 minutes till about I don't know six quarter past six something like that when it started getting light and then I started picking things up again I just wasn't finding anything in the dark so I think next time I might just get there half an hour later give myself an extra half an hour in bed but Chirk boot sale, I did enjoy it. It was big and plenty of stalls. I don't really see how if you go to Chirk car boot sale, you can fail to pick anything up. There's got to be something there for everybody, really. There is so much stuff, sometimes a bit overwhelming, but you just have to just start focusing on the stuff that you know and then maybe take the odd chance or two. Anyway, I'll go through everything that we've got now. Here is everything that I picked up today and I spent £174. Hopefully the profit is going to be considerably more than that because that's the idea behind it. Plus I had an hour's petrol there, an hour's petrol back. Anyway, um, let's do the plush toys first. Um, I got this Death Eater. This was £3. Um, still new with tags. Nice item. Don't really see these very often. I, think, I don't actually think I've had one before. Um, anyway, I think it's worth about 30 quid. Uh, what else did I get separate? I got the um, Only Fools and Horses um, car, which does do a sound as well. Oh, I thought it did. Uh, I paid £2 for um, Only Fools and Horses. Um, I'm not going to put a sale price on that uh, because I'm just going to put that straight on Whatnot. It's going to go on one of our live Whatnot auctions, as is probably all of this. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and Sonic as well, six. So we've got these six plushes for £6. This was, I think, the first pickup that I made. Um, £1 each. So all these are going to go straight, I think, straight to whatnot. And um, we'll just let the buyers decide what they are worth. Um, I would imagine, you know, £10 minimum each. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. We'll we'll just see how how people receive them. That's cute. That is cute, isn't it? That's uh, volume two as well. Uh, oh, volume three is out now though, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a volume two one. Um, I, I think this is Digimon. I think the chap on the stall said, Dig hang on a minute, there's a tag here. Silly me, let's have a look. Uh, I can't actually see if that is Digimon. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'll have to uh, Google Lens it and of course Baymax, which is quite a nice one. Um, yeah, they were a pound each, so uh, I would imagine sort of around the £10, £10-ish, a little bit less, a little bit more on most of those. Um, let's do some figures. I've got a couple of... I got, it was a real Jurassic Park kind of day. Let's do all the Jurassic Park stuff, because i got some cool stuff, that is for sure. Um, right, start with these two figures. Uh, I paid £5 for the pair. This one is an Allosaurus, and he's worth about 15. He does do a chomping action, as you may have seen. He's not got battle damage, though. If you see Jurassic Park, Jurassic World uh, figures with the battle damage feature on the sides, the battle damage, they are generally worth a little bit more than the ones without battle damage, but only as a, a general rule, not a, a hard and fast rule. Um, and this guy's probably worth, I can't remember his name, but he's worth probably about £10. So the pair are worth about 25 I might actually whatnot those as well. People love a bit of Jurassic Park. Now look at this, this is nice. This is the, one of the Wrangler Jeeps. Um, and, I forgot what I was saying there, and it comes with the net, which is unusual. You don't always get the net. And it comes with two figures in there. Official Jurassic Park figures. Um, now, initially, I thought when I walked away... Oh, there's a little tiny bit of damage on the side of the sticker. That's a downer, isn't it? The other side's fine, but that I didn't see that. That is a bit of a downer. But I 
I paid £7 for it, and initially when I walked away, I kind of felt like I might have paid too much. I kind of... I love Jurassic Park, so I will pay up for it, just because I love it. And I collect it myself, so if something doesn't sell, I keep it myself, or sometimes I just keep it. I might even keep that one, who knows. But I paid 7 for it. Um, I think I should still, even with the little bit of sticker damage, I should still be able to get at least 30 for that. Because it's got its net and he's got a couple of official figures. Um, at least 30, maybe a little bit more. Depending on what figures are in there, which I'll have to check. So I possibly paid a little bit too much for it, £7. Now this is really unusual. A Jurassic World Stroke Park watch. Full work in order. Now this is neat. Um, it celebrates all the Jurassic Parks because it's got aspects from different ones. Because you can see here, that's the Lost World. Well, so we've got Site B on there. What else? That might actually be it, but it's actually a... It's actually a Jurassic World branded watch rather than Park. It's got the Lost... Oh, the Lost World. Oh, hang on a minute. No, it's not Jurassic World. It is the Lost World. Hang on a minute. Yeah, it's the Lost World. I thought that was Jurassic World on the back. I couldn't read it properly out in the field. But it's the Lost World, so it's Jurassic Park 2. That's nice. Anyway, listen, I have looked this up. I was talking to the chap about it because I looked it up while I was looking at the stall. I paid £10 for the watch itself. I probably paid too much. Again, I paid the Chris's Jurassic Park premium price on this. Um, because I did see one for £90 that was listed. But then also there was one listed for um, £20. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, I couldn't see any solds, so that's a bit tricky. Um, I, I haven't overpaid because it's such an unusual item. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it for a bit. When the £20 one is sold, I'll bang it up for £40 or £50. Or I might just keep it in my Jurassic Park collection. I'm not decided. Um, let's do some clothing. Right, we've got a Speedway jacket here. I don't know what this is. Allied... allied. Glasgow Tigers Speedway. I paid £5 for the jacket. I think it's worth about 30 although I can't find any comps for it. So I'm going to have to make it up as I go along like normal. Um, off one chap, I bought uh, five Weird Fish jumpers. Weird Fish always does well. Very, very easy seller. £5 for each one. Uh, I think these are normally worth somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds. So let's say 25 each. So we've got one. What size are those? That's a medium. This green one is a medium. I might have to put them through the wash. Uh, this blue one is a medium. The grey one is, is it a medium? It's a large. That's a large. Winter's coming, isn't it? Winter's coming. And this sort of creamy beigey one is oh that's a small um so i got those five that was 25 pound and i should get me money back on one of those let's stick with clothing look at this this is a cracker gremlins 2 a new batch t-shirt uh it does need a wash and it is a medium loot wear exclusive so that's a loot crate, if any of you remember loot crates. I used to get them all the time. Love those. Paid £3 for that. This, I think, is worth £20-ish. Could even be worth more than £20. Now, this I spotted this originally when I saw this. I thought it was a vintage jacket, a vintage Puma, because look at the colourings of it. It's typically 80s vintage look, but I think it's meant to look that way because it is actually modern Puma. But it's a nice looking jacket and it is a size uh, small and I think it's got a date on the tag here which tells me it's 2019 so that's modern but it's a nice looking jacket still £5 paid 
Um, I can't find the same one at the moment, but I'm going to say 30. Um, a London 10K Adidas jacket, £5 paid again. It's from 2011 and it's a size medium and I'm going to say 25 to 30 on that. Polo Ralph Lauren, uh, size extra large. I'm going to say women's. It's got to be women's, hasn't it? The design of it. It's got these unusual sort of hook clasps on the front. Very unusual look to it. I paid £12. I'm hoping it's all genuine. It looks okay to me, uh, but I'm no expert. I just take a look at these things. Uh, can't find the exact same one. I'm going to hazard a guess at £50. I did pay £12 for it, uh, but I'm going to guess at 50 until I actually sit down and spend the time to find that. Let's move on to something else other than clothing and we'll come back. I bought six wrestlers. I'm not going to put a price on these because these are going to go straight into my whatnot. Just keep the wrestling figures up. Um, I paid £10 for the six. Um, I can't even tell you a single one who they are. I have not got a clue. I just picked the ones that I thought looked a bit more interesting. That's about the limit of, of what I went for. Um, I don't know who they are. Um, unless it's Doink the Clown or The Undertaker from like the early 90s. Got no chance with wrestling. But those were six for a tenner. Um, straight into whatnot for an auction. Um, over here we got this uh, Bumblebee. It's a Universal Studios cup. Drinks cup. Um, I did pay £2 for it, not £3. I think this is worth maybe about 15. There are some international ones, so it could go a bit higher than 15. Hey, and guess what? Another little tiki thing. It's a tiki Maori statue, and it's a big one. That's what she said. And the ones that I've seen on eBay are about this big, up to about there. So this is a big one. And with that in mind, I'm going to guess this is worth a bit more. So I paid a fiver for this. I'm going to aim for 30 to £40 pound on that. And I got two lots of trainers, two box trainers, some New Balance running trainers. What size are those? UK eight and a half. And um, in pretty good order, but it does have some marks on it. I might run them through the wash. I mean, it barely looks worn there, but then on the top, you can clearly see that there is some wear. So I did pay £12. Um, I think these are worth somewhere in the region of 45 I'm going to say, on those. And these are... Well, I'm hoping these are absolute bangers. I didn't know these were bangers until I had a look on eBay while I was stood at the chap store. Um, Nike Vapor Waffle. What a name. Vapor Waffle. Um, Sakai, or is that how you pronounce it? It's a, it's a men's UK 7, but they are pre-loved. But just look up some of the prices. In fact, I might try and ping some on the screen now. Um, I didn't realise that these were going to be worth so much. Um, but they are in pretty good order. Um, you can see they are used, but plenty, plenty of wear left and not in bad condition at all. And it's got a clear, transparent um, label on the inside. I think I've got no reason to believe these are not genuine, but they will go through the authenticity program. And I'll probably check them out myself using the Check Check app first because I don't want to fall foul of fakes, but I'm pretty sure that they're OK. Let's go back to the last bit of clothing. Um, grand, I got this, is this all from the same? Yeah, the guy that I got the weird fish off, um, I also bought a load of rugby rugby tops. I got this Grand Slam 2008 t-shirt. That was two pound, I think. That's probably worth about 15. And I got a few rugby polos. They always do pretty well, these kind of things. Um, I paid, I think, if my memory serves me right, I paid £24 for all this lot here. I think. Might have to check the video 
for my accounting purposes, but um, £24, I think. And I think most of these are worth somewhere between, oh, let's keep it fairly vague, £20 to £30 each, um, give or take a few quid. So we've got this Six Nations Polo, which is a size medium. Uh, we've got this Wales um, hoodie, which is a size medium. It's just a plain hoodie with the Wales logo thing on it. Uh, we've got a Cotton Traders here. That's a size large. That's a Wales top. It's a long sleeve. See, that one might be worth a little bit more at the higher end of that uh, spectrum that I said. Uh, that's a size medium as well. And again, that's long sleeve. Um, we've got here a Guinness branded or Guinness sponsored one. Not too bad. Um, and a large there, that one. Yeah, so I'm thinking probably most of these are 20 to 30 pound polos, uh, long and short, short sleeve. So I think we did okay with those. That is it, guys, and a big shout out to everybody who stopped me today at Chirk and uh, said hello. There must have been six or seven people who follow the channel, so it's really great. I love it when people say hello and introduce themselves and say uh, that they uh, enjoy the channel because it does make it worthwhile. So I appreciate everyone who said hello. Um, the the guy I got the um, the Welsh bundle off the 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 polos. There was another chap looking, and um, he said. He, he recognised me, so he said, is it Carboot Chris? Not the guy on the store. There was another another reseller there doing... He just got there before me doing a deal on a load of jerseys, um, which I was waiting to see what he did. And if he left anything, I was going to pick him up. But he bought most of the jerseys, which is fine. And uh, I think he got a decent deal, so nice one. Enjoyed it at Chirk. Hour there, hour, and a hour back for me. Um, would I go again? 100% yes, I would go again. And um, yeah, I can, rem I can recommend Chirk. So we'll see you again soon. Take care. See you later. E-bye, come.